Greetings metalers and welcome back to Overkill Reviews. This week I'm looking at the brand new album from Nails called You Will Never Be One of Us released last week on Nuclear Blast Records. I want to welcome a lot of new subscribers and many of you have been asking me to review this record. So Who's Nails? Well, they were formed in California in 2007. This is their third full-length release, and this record is produced by Kurt Ballou of Converge. Also, this record getting a lot of hype from Decibel, and apparently Nails is one of the mighty Max Cavalera's favorite bands. So, for an album that clocks in at under 22 minutes, let's get going. Opening track on the album is the title track, You Will Never Be One of Us, and it starts with something really cool. You've got members of Full of Hell, Harm's Way, Converge, Neurosis, Youth Code, Blacklisted, and Baroness all reciting the phrase, You Will Never Be One of Us. Check it out. Never be one of us. So the spoken word intro there kicking into a full throttle blast beat. I'm thinking Napalm Death, a bit of a Neurosis vibe and even some entombed in the production. And what I love about this song and about this record is Nails really knows how to turn tempo changes on a dime. Check it out. Love that mid-tempo section in the opening track, and lead singer Todd Jones has something to say here. He says, fuck your trends, fuck your friends, fuck your groupies that try to pretend that you're down, you're fucking not. Nobody wants what you fucking got. In the old days, we called this a rail against the posers. Jones making, he claims, an inclusive, not an exclusive statement with You Will Never Be One of Us. And it's almost like a, a tribute to people who are passionate about what they do and what they believe in. Next track. Track five on the record is called Violence Is Forever. And I love this opening, one of my favorites on the record, a real kind of off kilter, sludgy beginning. Check it out. By this point in the record, it's really clear that Nails is giving us an all-out assault. This album really does not stop, no compromise. Check out this brutal chorus. And clocking in at three and a half minutes, Violence Is Forever is one of the longer tracks on the album and again features some really impressive tempo changes. I love the way it shifts into the final riff of this song. Track nine on the record is called Into Quietus, and I think Nails is going to appeal to both metal and punk hardcore fans. This band really showing that more punky side on this opening riff. And then Into Quietus shifts into what is my favorite riff on the record. This is invoking a little bit of left hand path and old school death metal. Love the feeling of, of brutality and power carried in that riff. It's really something quite different, a lot slower on the album, Nails showing thy diversity. Love it. Let's go to the last song. Last track on You Will Never Be One Of Us is They Come Crawling Back. And it's a tradition with Nails that the last song in each album is the epic, is the final opus as you will in this song clocking in and over eight minutes and has three distinct parts part one <laughs> K 
killer part there. It sounds like Quarthon and Neurosis got trapped in a cave with no drums. <laughs> really like that section. And I take it back. I said Violence is Forever was my favorite song. No, this closer, They Come Crawling Back, is solid. Check out the midsection. Just when you think Nails is going to bring you back to that familiar grindcore sound that's really driven a lot of this record, they take you out on this slow, knuckle-dragging march to the finish. So, for an album that clocks in at under 22 minutes, it's taken you a long way. From the blast beat of the opener to that funeral dirge at the end, let's go to the verdict and make sense of it. So let me start by saying that hype is a very difficult thing when it comes to metal and reviewing albums. This record has had a ton of hype. Not only Cavalera's behind it, but I heard a little rumor that even Dave Grohl likes nails and that can be a dangerous thing because it can set your expectations very high or very low depending on your opinion of Dave Grohl's musical taste. So what's my opinion? Well this is a fucking brutal record. It's a short record. It blindsides you from front to back. There's a lot of fantastic tempo changes. I really love the production. It lives in that sort of messy kind of quagmire zone of metal production that I really like and this is a band that's clearly going places but you know it's not the record that everyone said it was going to be for me I've even heard rain and blood reference next to it because of the shortness of the album so all in all in my humble opinion this is not the metal album of the year but it's a really good grindcore meets punk meets a dash of old school death metal record. Look for Nails on tour this year. And for all of you critics out there who want this out of five, you're getting your wish. We're going to five skulls on the show and You Will Never Be One of Us gets three out of five on Overkill Reviews.